Prime Minister, Mr. Volkner, has had to cut short his crucial Middle East talks seeking a continuation of our oil supplies and return home to face the most serious crisis in labour relations since 1951. The country today ground to a halt in the major cities as the threat of a general strike loomed. Rioting broke out as pro- and anti-strike factions collided outside the Auckland waterfront this afternoon. Police were called in and 11 men have been admitted to hospital. One man is in a critical condition with severe head injuries. The introduction of petrol rationing and the curtailing of public transport has given the union cause a large measure of public sympathy. And only success at the Middle East conference tables will give the Volkner government the public support it will need to avert a general strike. It was hoped the Prime Minister's arrival back in the country would break the air of mystery that so far surrounded the Middle East oil talks. But he refused to give any indications when met at the airport by a Television One film crew this afternoon. Excuse me, Mr. Prime Minister, have you been able to negotiate for continued supplies of oil? Unfortunately, I'm not in a position to discuss the matter. Are you aware in your absence there's been a deterioration in union government relations? I am. Well, what are you going to do about it? All I can say is the government will not be held to ransom. If strikes continue, we'll be prepared to meet force with force. This tough line with the unions has been backed up by new legislation passed by the Minister of Labour and being rushed through an emergency sitting of the House today. Dad, where are you going? In the past, the new legislation will outlaw all strikes and carry penalties of heavy fines and imprisonment. The army will be called in to replace any workers continuing to withhold their labour and the police will be granted wider powers of arrest. The most controversial clause of the new legislation will grant police powers to detain without charge. It's believed that even some government members may vote against this clause. The Prime Minister will make a major statement on all channels as soon as the vote has been taken.